Hi everybody, hope you all are doing well. This is my Sony SCD1. Uh, this is their new millennium top of the line CD SACD player. It's got a fixed mechanism, so as you can see um, on the top, the door opens and then you place the CD inside and then there is a clamp, which I will show you shortly. It's a very, very cool uh, mechanism for opening and closing that door and uh, definitely added a little bit to the price, I'd say. Uh, this and the SCD 777 ES are very similar. Uh, people like to ask about the differences and they are as follows. Uh, this unit has balanced inputs, balanced outputs, I mean in addition to the RCA plugs. The SCD uh, 777 only has unbalanced RCA plugs. Uh, in addition, this unit has a different um, power supply than the 777. So this unit has, uh, I think when I looked inside, a, a power supply for each channel a separate discrete power supply for each channel and the 777 uh, seems to only have one transformer underneath the cover. Finally, uh, the other difference is obviously the appearance. This unit is significantly nicer on the outside. Um, the front panel is at least a quarter inch thick, solid aluminum. And uh, the sides are painted this very pretty blue color um, that uh, that really doesn't get too much attention, but I think it's really, really, really nice. Finally, um, this is actually a useful feature. This uh, unit has a fifth foot in the middle bottom of the unit. Now this thing is so darn heavy, so when you pull it off a shelf, it almost always drops down. And so when you have that fifth foot, if you pull it forward to lift it out of a rack, it, it has a much better ability to support itself. Um, since this unit is even heavier than the 777 and that that thing is already incredibly heavy So I think this weighs five or six pounds more So what I'll go ahead and do now is uh, flip it on Not gonna play anything um, But it works and you're, you're gonna only barely be able to see the display since I've uh, got this face in a window I believe it has a Jeff Buckley uh, SACD in it. And for whatever reason on this CD, it has trouble switching between SACD and CD mode. It's, uh, I think, the CD and not the player because my 777 did the same thing. So unless there's some age-related issue in these that causes that switch to not work well, um, then it's, some, it's something to do with the CD. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is move this closer and uh, let's uh, go ahead and take a look at the mechanism. Oh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll cut that, maybe I won't. Alright, so right now the player is playing. Um, we're, we got the first try going Mojo Pin. So now I've stopped it, and when you go ahead and hit the eject button, it takes a second, but then you get this very cool lift. And uh, the, the door is solid aluminum, milled, milled out, and then you can see the record clamp. Now in order for this play to work, you have to have the record clamp or it won't read the CD. And uh, for a while, you know, these clamps are going for over $200 just for the clamp because if you don't have it, your player won't work. But now it appears that somebody's making uh, new ones, which uh, that's great. So that uh, and they're cheaper. So um, there's a lot of players out there that I'm sure have come to new life because they were able to get finally get the clamp. So um, I think the clamp is uh, it's either plated or it's, uh, yeah, it appears to be plated. But it's uh, it's it's heavy. It's gonna be out of focus, but uh, 
it's definitely got some weight to it, uh, but like it must be gold plated or something like that. So we'll place that there, remove the CD, and then you can see down in there, um, it's pretty clean. So I did a video about uh, the 777 that I used to have. Now that, that unit had been really modified. And uh, frankly, you know, I can't really tell the difference in sound. And I know that unit, whoever had it modified, spent a lot of money getting it modified. And this one is, is stock. And I could not, you know, tell the difference between the sound. They both sound amazing, even 20 years on. And uh, for this price point, I don't care what you spend. Um, it's gonna be difficult to get something with this level of fit and finish. Sony clearly uh, put profit second to um, just making the best damn player that they could possibly make and let I, they let the engineers kind of do what they wanted, especially with the SCD-1. Um, so go ahead and close this. I actually sold this, so I'm about to ship it and um, this is the last day I'll have it. So uh, we'll miss this player, but uh, I don't play CDs as much anymore, and uh, somebody who does will get more enjoyment out of it. So, and as you can see, if there's no stabilizer, it gives you it gives you a message. So I'm gonna get this shipped off, wrap it up real good. I've got the original box and the manual. Remote is the same as a 777. Um, allows you to control everything, but you can't turn the unit off with it. So you have to manually walk up and turn the power on and off. So I think that'll do it. I will get this unit out and uh, hopefully a new owner enjoys it.